First of all, folks, in the Proto Bible Bulletin, I just want you to focus. God said, God called you and me to make an impact. In the Proto Bible uh, Bulletin, is a vision of Westside Multicultural. It says, is to become light and salt for the Lord Jesus Christ. Shining it through, wherever God leads you, wherever you go, you continue to be his light and to be his salt. Amen? I can't hear you. Amen. <laughs> I want you to think back over the years. Can you do that? Think back over the years. Yes. Who has impacted your life? Is it your parents? Is it your mother, your father that impacted your life? Is it your teacher back way that influences you, your life? Maybe a pastor or a friend that impacted your life. Maybe a mentor that greatly influenced your life. But somebody has impacted your life. The truth is, a lot of people has impacted your life and my life. And many people play the role in your life forming the person you are today. You agree? Your character, the way you conduct your life, your conversation, somewhere, somehow, have impacted your life the way you live today. When we think of these things, Whose life are you impacting? I'll say that again. Whose life are you impacting? When I think about this word, when we think about the word impact, what comes into your mind? It describes what? It describes a collision, right? Sometimes, yes, Sometimes it is a soft collision. Just like when you fall in love with your husband. It's a soft collision. Sometimes it is a hard and painful collision. You say the truth, all of us have been impacted by many people and God called us to impact the people around us. Probably you're saying, how can I make an impact? I don't have the proper training, I don't have the right education, I don't have a special gift, I don't have this, and I don't have that. Friends, can I tell you, there's nothing, has nothing to do with it, of who you are, what you've been through. I want you to listen. You and I have an obligation to impact others for Jesus Christ. Did you hear me? You and I have an obligation to impact either for Jesus Christ. God didn't save you out of accident. He saved you for a purpose. And you're here this morning for a purpose. If you don't have a purpose yet, God is going to reveal you today. And I hope you will open your heart so that you hear. You and I have an obligation. And all those excuses that, ah, oh, you don't know what I've been through, Pastor. Oh, I don't have this and I don't have that. has nothing to do with it. Whatever, no matter how, what happened in your life, God is going to use you. Amen? Now notice that Jesus Christ called us to influence the entire world. He didn't just say, I called you to impact your family. I call you to be the salt of your family, to be the salt of your family. No, he says, you are the salt of the earth. And you are the light of the world. Can you say that again? I am the light. The world. I am the salt. The yeah. All right. You see, in other words, Jesus is saying, our impact on others should be as significant as the effect of salt has on food. 
has an the same effect as light on darkness. You hear me? As you and I interact with people, they should see a difference, something compelling in them about your lifestyle. Why are you so different from me? There's something in him that I don't have. And as we abide in Jesus, stay connected with him. Didn't he say in in John 15, stay connected with me, remain in me, and my words remain in you. And as we do that, his light will shine on us and make an impact to the people around us. I I want you to keep your Bible on Matthew 5, okay? And I want you to pay attention to this passage because Jesus says, you are. That word he says, you are. I want you to pay attention. The salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Jesus very clearly says, you are the light of salt and the light of the world. In other words, Jesus is saying, now, now that you have accepted me as your Lord and Savior, now I want you to obey my commands. Okay? You need to follow me. Jesus is saying, I want you so to be connected to me that you will recognize that your responsibility is to bear fruit and that your life will impact others the way Jesus impacted your life. Are you listening? So my question to you is this, whose life are you impacting? You're probably saying, I'm not impacting anybody. Oh, yes, you are. Jesus didn't say, you ought to be the salt of the earth. He didn't say, you ought to be the light of the world. He says, you are. You and I are the salt. I want you to get that in here. We are the salt. And so I want you to... Um, go to the first one is God called you to be the salt of the earth. You see, followers of Jesus Christ are to be the salt. Not just on Sunday. Then behave like a holy person. Every single day, wherever you are, even it say, oh, uh, nobody can see me here. I'm in Melbourne. I I, I don't know anyone. I can do whatever I want to do. That's not being salt. That's not being light for Jesus Christ. That is, we have a commission. Then Jesus says, I give you a commission. We have this obligation. We have the responsibility to make a difference in the lives of the people around us. The people you work with, can they see the difference? The people at school, can they see the difference? The people in a social gathering, can they see the difference? At home, can your husband and your wife and your children see the difference? And as followers of Jesus Christ, our lives should be different. Whether you are educated or non-educated, whether you're smart or non-smart, whether you're good-looking and never mind, whether you got teeth or no teeth, it doesn't matter. 